Okay, I'm telling you, this um, advent calendar just does not disappoint. I love this die set. Um, it just You just keep getting all these cute little dies. Um, so I'm convinced that I will be buying this next year if they make it available. So what I've done is I've got all of my elements here ready to go to create my card. I've got my hello and I pulled it off my dies with tape and layered it up and then taped it in the right direction so that it'll be positioned to lay down on here just exactly. I've got a flower die that was earlier in the kit with some leaves and some little flower things and then I've just brought in my uh, Spellbiter's embossing folder of the month that just came in for um, this month and it is gorgeous. It's got all these little hearts on there. It's just really pretty. So um, it's going to be a simple card and we're just going to get it assembled very quickly and um, see what happens. So I've got my uh, Spellbinder's paper here, essential card stock, and I'm just going to get it laid down on here. Find my glue. And I'll tell you, I have been doing so much crafting and it's hard to keep my craft room organized. I've got stuff everywhere. I've got stacks of Christmas cards because I've been trying to get them all addressed and ready. I think I've got all of them out in the mail that need to be mailed now. Um, and then I've got to get, and this is priority for this evening, that I have to get all of them for the church signed with everybody's names on them so that we can take them in tomorrow for church and get those in the little area where we distribute all of our Christmas cards at church. Anyway, um, once I get that done, that's going to create some space because I mean I've had, I have made over a hundred Christmas cards this season. And so if I can clear out a hundred cards, that's going to give me some room for some new creativity. So isn't that gorgeous? Just, just like that. I think it's just so pretty. Um, and then I thought we would just, oh, let's go ahead and assemble our flower. Now I've just got, um, a couple different colors, actually three colors of um, Spellbinder's essential cardstock here. And I will try to link everything in the description box so that you'll have, you'll know everything that I used. And I'm just going to get this layered up. I wanted to turn it a little bit, that's why I lifted it back up. Turn it like that. So it's Saturday morning, and I've also got to go do the Christmas shopping for my stepdad. I mentioned that in another video. Um, he has given me a list for all the great grandkids. And so I've got to go and do the shopping for them. Now I have in my mind planned that I'm going to do at least one more Christmas card because I've got this cool um, die set that I'm going to use and I, I want to use it this season. So I'll be watching. There will be at least one more. Actually, I've got one queued already. So you're going to, I'm going to finish up my Kendra's card challenge. So there are two Christmas cards on that and that'll finish off those 15. And then I'm going to do this other one and hopefully we'll be moving on from our Christmas cards. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. Probably something like that so that this can just shine. Um, we'll see. And then I've got um, these little things here. I'm going to get them glued on there. a blue one. Oh, there's one there. Okay. Thought maybe one had gotten away from me, but hopefully I'm in view here. And I didn't want to use like a green green on this because I just thought the colors um, 
I wanted just soft colors and I felt like the green green would be a little too harsh for this. So I just used like a soft, I don't know, light till or whatever. And I don't know if I'll use both of these, but I just was die cutting. I always, it seems like I always die cut more than I need. Um, and then I'm assured to have at least plenty, at least enough. Um, I've got the sun peeking in, so it's kind of um, coming in on my glass mat there. Hopefully you can see all right, but I hate to apologize for the sun, that's for sure. Um, I love the sun. Just trying to get these lined up. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and do our hello, get it assembled, and hopefully this will work out how I want it to. I'm just going to run my glue on there. I'm just using pink pixie tape. That's kind of my go-to tape. I'm about out of it. And then I've got some green mint tape that I'm going to replace that um, tape dispenser with. So we'll see how well I like that mint tape um, as compared to the pixie tape. So we shall see. I actually need to get going. I've got something at my P.O. box that I need to get picked up as well. So the only thing about this is it kind of makes it hard to see. Um, I'm going to use the L's as a, and just kind of peel it off. I just wanted to have them properly spaced apart on there. And maybe I didn't need to do this. I, oops, because that's not going to work. There we go. I guess not. I'm going to have to just go ahead and move them around anyway. I, want, I thought that would help me to get it on there just exactly straight. And I think if I had used a <clears throat> darker shadow, that might have worked better, but anyway, okay, that looks pretty good. I like that. All right, so let's just get this laid down on here. I think that hello is going to go right in that bottom corner. For some reason, I keep gravitating toward that. <clears throat> Getting a little froggy this morning. I've had my coffee and actually a donut. My daughter just ran by and brought me and her father a donut for breakfast and um, was I was standing there talking with her for quite a while enjoying and um, eating my donut so she uh, had to run my granddaughter to um, <clears throat> the Christmas program practice so she was out running around this morning and just decided to pick up some donuts Was fun. I'm kind of leaning in that direction. Okay, well, let's just get these laid down. I think I think this could be cute. I need my tweezers for that. These tweezers are so gunked up with glue that it is crazy. I keep cleaning them off, but I've done so much crafting that they are really gunked up. Okay, I try and get that laid down. I'm holding my tweezers in an awkward position <laughs> for that, but all right. Let's see if we can get that glue off of there. All right, there we go. So I hope you've been enjoying these Spellbinder videos. I can't believe we're on day 16 and that Christmas is almost here. 
Oh my goodness. I've still got quite a few things I want to get done. I haven't even made my um, Buckeyes or my Chex Mix um, yet, so I need to do that. Probably maybe do that this week. I'm trying to figure out how these leaves might work with this. I don't know. I might snip, snip the end of that off and see if I can't tuck it in or something. I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just pull this up. And we'll just tuck these together and then put it back down. See if that'll work. I don't know. Let's see, how did I have that like this? And then we'll go like that, I think. Let's just go like that. Maybe. I like that or not. Okay, so what we're going to do with these are, I'm not going to fight with them. I'm just going to bring in some of my tape runner and just <laughs> do a better job of attaching them than I did the others. I think that could be pretty. I'll just get that one laid down on there. And that'll look nice. Yeah, that was much easier. Okay, for this one, we are going to pop it up. I've got a smidgen of some um, foam tape left on that roll, and I'm just going to put it down on this. And we're going to get this baby popped up. And there we've used the floral elements from our... Um, advent calendar and our new hello and then this month's uh, new embossing folder so i think it's just beautiful i hope you like it if you do consider giving me a thumbs up thanks for watching and just have a great day take care bye bye